Hello and welcome to my vsub.ai tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use vsub in case you are brand new to it. So consider this a tutorial for beginners. If you've watching this and you haven't gotten to test it tested out, I will leave my link in the description. And if you want to upgrade, you can use my coupon code, which is going to be island. Let's begin. So I'm going to go through most of these because a lot of these are going to be self-explanatory. Like for example, Reddit story, you're just pasting in a link from Reddit, but some are going to be a little bit more. For example, let's start off with fake text. So I'm going to click here. And in general, uh, what you want to do here is go back and forth between like you're talking to someone else, right? And the cool thing is you want to make it like maybe have a hook to it. Because if you're using this as a video, it's cool to see text messages. It adds like that level of privacy, even though you're just creating one, nevertheless. So what we can do here is just use sample data just to kind of showcase what it's going to look like. So as an example, this is a really fun one. It says, Dad, I want to marry. And it says, say sorry. <laughs> for what? Say sorry. But for what? You first say sorry. But what's my fault? You first say sorry. Sorry. At least tell me the reason. First say sorry. Okay, dad, I'm sorry. Now you're ready for marriage, my son. Your training is complete. You have learned to say sorry without any reason. <laughs> Anyways, so what I did is I just went into chat GPT myself and in the digital marketing field, you know, this I just asked it to create something that would be just a conversation going back and forth. So what we can do if we were starting from square one, we can just delete these, right? Here we are. I just wanted to showcase what it's going to look like with that. So First and foremost, we want to say add left. So let's add our text in. This is going to be person number one. And then we have add right. So for this, it's going to be going back and forth. So know what's the trick. This is going to be going here. We're back over on the left side. And of course, if you have your own back and forth between your text conversation, what it's going to be, you can plug it in there. You don't always have to do left and right. You know, sometimes if you're texting someone, you might do rapid fire text where you send one and then you send another before they go off. So that is something that you can do, but I am just alternating and I'm not going to go all the way through. I think you get the idea with this, right? So I'm just going to paste this in here. Okay, that's what that's going to look like. You can do a bunch of other things here in terms of settings, which I think is going to be very helpful. So these are going to be the voices between like the left and the right. And this is going to be important. For example, before we were talking about someone was talking to their dad. So you're going to want to use, say, like a male voice, right? You're not going to want to use someone who's going to be like, you know, Sarah or, you know, someone else who, or Nicole or whatever it's going to be. Right. So you want to make sure it's a dad voice. Uh, but we do have the voices. You can preview them if you go here and just simply click on this but you can just go through and kind of test them out. You can even use Santa Claus if you want, but it has some of their, I guess you could say best attributes in there. So you can test them out and utilize those when needed. There's also going to be like Instagram user ID and even a profile photo there. So the profile photo would go right here. So if you're talking to someone specific, uh, that could be cool to use as well. Templates is going to be very popular. So if you want to change these around, this can definitely pop more just if it has a black background. But once again, this looks more like uh, like WhatsApp or something similar to that, right? So whatever one you wanna use here is gonna be fine. We have language here as well, English will be cool. There's also the script generator where you can also download a TikTok video, you can upload video and provide an example of an already successful video is what you'd be doing there in case you wanna model that. Nevertheless, once you are done, you simply click on the create video. I'm not gonna do that because it's gonna use up more credits, but kind of giving you a walkthrough just so you can see how to use that one. There are going to be some other uh, guides that you can use to dive a little bit deeper, but I wanna go through a lot of these tools so you get a good idea of how they work, right? So let's go back to vSub. We have our AI video, here's another good one. So what we want to do is choose our template. So for this one, I'm going to go with Cartoon 3D. Let's go down here. We have our transcript. We have our settings and our script generator. It's kind of going through very quickly. Once again, we have our voices. I'm not going to go through these every single time because you can obviously pick your own. We also have the script generator if needed. But what I'm going to do is just create a quick transcript. Give me one second in ChatGPT. All right, so I just, I just need a transcript that's about 100 words. And I'm not going to use all of it, but... I'm going to go with this right here and I'm going to copy this. Let's bring it back over. This is just going to be the example and we're going to paste that in there and click on continue. And it's going to create the video taking a few minutes from what I've seen, unless your script is very long, it's not going to be too long. This will be done very quickly, but I'll get to you when it is done. All right. And so I turned my volume up. I'm just going to play it very, very quickly. It's 23 seconds long, but maybe I'll do about 10 seconds or so. Life is full of challenges and there will be times when everything seems impossible. But remember, it's during these tough times that we truly grow. Each setback is an opportunity to learn and become stronger, even when the odds are against you. 
Okay, I think that looks great in terms of the animation. It has like the fuzzies on there, almost looks like snow. So we can change these around. So if you do click here, this is where you can drag and drop and upload your files, of course. And what you can do is also go here if you wanna create a new one. So generating image could take a few minutes. So this is going to be like this specific person like standing, like looking like they're having a hard time. There's a dif difficult path. Let's just do like of a grown man see the man seems okay sure let's just like generate that let's see what it looks like so let's click generate all right and so now that it's done generating we can click on it there and we can do change image so now you can see it's going to be a much different person so if we go back there we go life is full of challenges they're not so young anymore right that's a much smaller person we did choose like a, a bigger person and they have gotten a little bit bigger there but nevertheless a little bit better there is the ability to have these subtitles which are already here which are already created there will be time you'll notice that if there are specific sections where they were incorrectly you know spelled so everything seems you would just go in there and just delete it add it whatever it's going to be right so that's changing that around we do have the styles right here so there are going to be some templates that we can use too so if you want to change these around very quickly we can just go with say mr beast right or we can go with the quick i was, I was reading the quick brown fox but that's alex hormozy uh, he has a third one there and like this one i think looks just fine and we have some tools here where if you want to upload a logo great for watermarking right and uh, we have some emoji gifts as well so that's going to be this one pretty simple and straightforward overall i think the longest thing here is that if you have have specific videos in the background or images that you don't like just for it to like create a new one regenerate will take some time but once you have your script I think it's a pretty cool process for getting it done and of course last but not least you want to make sure you download it once again let's go back and do another one all right and so for a lot of these I am going to go a little bit quicker just because many of them can be so let's do quiz and we have two templates here I'm just going to go with the standard one here so what we want to do is add question and let's just say this is going to be our very quick question. We can click on continue here. All right, and let's just play it very quickly. What is the best form of traffic online? Organic. Haha, <laughs> great. So here are going to be some of the settings that we can have. We also have this background video here too, uh, if we wanted to change that around. But one thing at a time, right? So we have the voice and we can do voice speed, voice volume, voice pitch in case you want to do that. And you can preview it just to hear it. So we have our questions. Uh, we have a question once again. We have our question image. So if we wanted to change that around, we can do that. We have our background images. We have answers. We have timer, comments, and layout. So a lot of this is just going to be aesthetics type stuff. Let's go back to the content section or to the content section. You'll notice we have a background image here. I would definitely change that. Let's say we wanted to go to this right here. And I actually already have one right here, which this is more of a, a horizontal one. Let's just do say vertical image of social media platforms and logo, something like that. Okay. Generate. All right, and that's perfect. I'm gonna go with that one and change image. And uh, okay, maybe it's not perfect. They use logos, but given the fact it's AI, there's gonna be a lot of crazy spelling going on there. At least they had the right idea with that, right? So then we had this one as well. This was gonna be the image, which we can change, you know, like what kind of traffic. And then we had this one right here that we can change as well. I'm not gonna do this, but this would be the same thing. This was the traffic in the middle. And of course we do have the video in case we wanna upload something different. Now there are gonna be some settings. I think it was the answers that we can always change. Let's see, answers. Um, that looks fine. We have timer, comments, and let's just see what it looks like. What is the best form of traffic online? Organic. Okay, so there is going to be that. So that's going to be how that one's done. Okay, let's go back to this. All right, we have split screen. All right, so I'm going to upload a test video. All right, so what you can do is actually generate subtitles if needed, which is a cool thing, right? So I'm just going to play this to showcase. It's me doing just a video up top and a random one on the bottom. Look at the beautiful lighting in my office. I'm sure you can tell just how pristine. Okay, so you'll notice we have this one and then there's gonna be this other video. What we can do here is just upload another one. This is just gonna be the fastest way to do that. So if you're doing say a talking head video and then underneath it, you have something else, this is where the other video is gonna go. So I'm just gonna upload again. I'm gonna just get the same video. Okay, so it says uploading will take a few minutes. It's not gonna be that long. It'll probably be, okay, it's done. So let's click on this. 
And there we go. So despite the fact both of these are the same, I'm just kind of showing you uh, what it would look like when you have two videos. I think once you understand that, this part's gonna be so much easier because it's more about placing these appropriately. Another thing I do wanna mention, you'll notice that it's a minute, just because the original video was much longer. What we can do is go to settings and we wanna make sure like, we have the duration of both our videos totals. Okay, so that's something you need to keep in mind. 10 seconds is gonna be the lowest you can do. So when you go to create this, make sure that that's the minimum. So if you go to hit down here, it won't let you, but you can go up if needed. So that's going to be that overall. If you wanna generate subtitles, I'll show you how to do that in a completely different video, but that's also something you can do. Let's go back. All right, Reddit story. I'm just gonna skip the story one and go to Reddit. This one's pretty cool, very easy to do. Uh, what I wanna do here is post in the Reddit link. And max characters, I'm just gonna do a thousand so it doesn't take a long time, and I'm gonna do apply magic. This was for a Deadpool and uh, Wolverine review, so let's do apply magic. All right, so the subtitles were already created. It's funny because it has my video in the background. We can obviously change that. So there's gonna be styles here. Uh, we have Reddit. This is gonna be um, what we used it from. It's gonna showcase that. And here's the video too in the background. Let's just say we have this here. Uh, I'm just gonna put that there. We can always put something else, but allow me to play it for you. I'm gonna just probably do 10 seconds or so. Deadpool and Wolverine review thread. Deadpool and Wolverine. Rotten Tomatoes 80%, 290 reviews. Ryan Reynolds makes himself at home in the MCU with acerbic wit while Hugh Jackman provides an adamantium backbone to proceeding. Okay, so that's going to be that. It's pretty much just taking it and turning it into a video. The biggest thing here is going to be obviously having the video in the back. There is a gameplay marketplace should you want to use something like that or just use a video that you have. That's going to be up to you. Other things as well, music, like it says, when you upload videos to TikTok, it's best to add background music from their library. This helps you avoid copyright problems. Couldn't agree anymore. Uh, this is going to be the screenshot section in case you want to utilize that like this in the beginning, I think that looks fine, right? And of course, uh, back to content, you can show common images, you can disable captions, we have the voice settings, and of course, this is gonna be the post. Pretty much everything else is gonna be business as usual, but that's how you can set it up, aside from going through all the aesthetics and so on and so forth. So I did say I was gonna skip story video, I'm just gonna show you very quickly. It's pretty much about generating a script and then doing continue. From there on out, a lot of the things that we've done previously are going to be the same. Adding captions is very simple. I'm just gonna upload that same example video again. All right, so let me play it and pause it just so you can see. Look at the there we go, they're gonna be the uh, actual uh, subtitles for you. So we have styles right here. Once again, to make your life easier, these are going to be some of the templates where we can change them around very easily. Uh, what you want to do is also make sure that you start it a little, because if you start right here, you can't see what the templates look like. So it's good to make sure there's some side subtitles there. That way you can go in and just change them around. And you know something like that looks kind of decent. There's customization. This is where you can even edit it a little bit more. Music, once again, same thing, tools, subtitles. And this is where you can change it. So at my office, where if you just want to change around, you know, a letter, add it in. Okay, sometimes it gets it wrong, sometimes it, many times it doesn't, but in case you need to change something around, maybe you had your last name in there and VSub was like, there's no way I'm spelling that right. You know, you can go in and just change it that way. And let's go back. Last but not least, would you rather, this one's pretty simple. We have our template right here and we have some of our options. So it could be, let's do add a question. So option A would be, all right, so 10X your business or 10X your health, something like that, okay? This is optional right too. So leave it empty for a randomized value. That's if you wanna be like the percentage wise. So I'm gonna leave that blank. Let's just do continue. All right, so you'll notice it's gonna be the same thing here. If I just go through, we're gonna have uh, pictures, we have the voice in the background and everything else. So this is very similar to when we did the quiz, I believe. And if we wanted to change this around, this is where we can change our images as I've showed you how to do before. And we can change that around. We have music, we have tools, all right? Pretty similar stuff where you can go through and add to the aesthetics if needed as well. All right, so that's gonna be my vsub.ai tutorial. I tried to make this as quick as possible, but I think it went a little bit longer. Like I said, uh, the more you go through this, you're gonna notice that a lot of these features are similar in a sense that it's more about uploading the video or getting a description of it. And once it's done, you can change around a lot of the aesthetics, the voiceovers, maybe the, the music, the images, the videos, the backgrounds, the subtitles, and so on and so forth. But I hope this helped you out. Of course, if you're watching this and you haven't gotten to test out vsub, I will leave my link in the description. They do also come with the ability to get a lifetime account with them, so that's something to check out. And should you wanna do that, my coupon code is ISLAND. That will save you a good amount of money in the process. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching my vsub tutorial, and I'll see you in my next video.